So it looks like we got Luna. Luna Mado and Shiki. Shiki, one of the. Thank you so much, Shiki. One of the premier ZSS in the Tokyo area. That's for sure. When, here, when you think of ZSS of Japan, Choco, Shiki. And then Luna, no stranger to Smash himself. Okay, so I'm not as familiar with Luna. Yeah, Luna. Luna Mado. We don't really saw a Pikachu kind of out there. If we know Kisu at all, she's also a very good Pikachu, and they kind of tend to rub elbows together out in the Tokyo Smash scene out around Uno you know, Smash. Okay. So they're both very strong competitors, and we can expect to see a very tight game. I would say she is more well known and yes, that's what she has better results. However, this is a pretty bad matchup for ZSS. Yeah, no, I mean it's gonna be really rough to be hitting Pikachu and all that, but. You know, just, just the punish game that ZSS has in this game still is extremely strong out there. And, you know, and the fact that you do have that tether to just get like those long range punishes when you really need to, it's gonna help out a good amount in certain situations where they try to put attack away from you. An excellent oh, utilization yeah, that's of punish. You can see the way Luna is utilizing the platforms to the best of his advantage, throwing the T-Drill out there and just covering space. Almost getting the tech chase, but not quite. Yeah, he was hoping that there would be no tech chase to get the reset. Oh, okay. <laughs> and for that frame one option there with the Thunder. Oh, got perfect parry right there. Definitely, those are the things that you need to do to punish the SS Aerial. Without it, it's so hard to punish. That's gonna be a stop right there. Wow, F Smash! You rarely see that coming out from the ZSS just because it's so unreliable. Usually they offer the up B, but you're gonna kill in that situation. Yeah, I mean, it's such a good smaller character like Pikachu, but not for him, not for killing today. That pair was probably going to be crossed up afterwards, so I wanted to help him react it. Cheeky, looking cheeky. Trying to get these Nair Springs at these early percents. Yeah, you can also tell that, like, Cheeky really understands like, how to punch the smaller characters. The way that he's facing that Nair, you can tell that it's going to hit a ground with the opponent, so it's not, you shouldn't really do anything to that issue off. Up throw off the top, gonna even up the stocks. And that's one of the things about DSS, as strong as she is, she is still extremely light, so. Definitely feeling nice last you, you know, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. She's lighter than a carbon fiber airplane. She will pretty much die to any strong upward move. Last one. Definitely no exaggeration right there. Oh, get that nair. Trying to go for the regram. Okay, I'm trying to get bait something out with going off stage there, but Luna wisely not fighting there. We got no jump coming from it. Fortunately, no spike hitbox coming out from the thunder. Safely landing, getting that jump back, and now Luna in a disadvantageous position. Get him back with a quick attack. Okay, drop throw. I don't really get a kill off of that, but... Oh, okay, that should be it. Yes, those guys go now. Um, Down Smash is actually stronger than F Smash for the most part. F Smash, um, Star Spot on it did get bigger, so you're not going to be killing with that one as well as consistently, so it's better to come up to that Down Smash most of the time. That's what do it. All right, but Shiki, even in back right away, we're going to be uh, shaping up to be a pretty close game. Okay, that tech situation off of that. Oh, it's the grab. Where are we going? Oh, unfortunately, a little bit too short to get hit by that up tilt, but basically any of the character that should have worked. Oh, we got these Nair Strings. Put in so much work for Udo not. Oh, unfortunately, not ready for the ultimate cheese right there on both ends, but both of them with the scrap and the keep going. There. That Nair reaching all the way out there to the tip of the laser whip. Alright, Shiki. Very. Yeah, that was not advised. That's got it. That's the rough thing about going for Skull Bash right over there. Is you're not gonna sweet spot that ledge. And it's the easiest thing for ZSS to punish. Like if there's one character you want to make sure you sweet spot against, it's gonna be her. Down Smash is gonna kill you. Yeah, and I'm glad. I'm glad to see she got that confirmed. Cause you know that's the game. Like if you're not gonna sweet spot, I'm just gonna spike you for it. Yeah. Uh, I was surprised we didn't see that the first time around when he down smashed him at the ledge. We got that down smash fair string. Maybe is that too low of a percent? More than likely, that would be Koopa. Koopa! Luna switching to the yellow Did Koopa. Did you know about this? <laughs> I had no idea. Okay, well, back in Smash 4, you would say no to this, but Bowser's a new man. He, he is. Father, uh, 
sort of the boss of Nintendo at the moment, and so he's got some bills to pay. <laughs> yeah, and this will be interesting because one of the few characters that CSS can still get her ladder strings on. Yes. So we're we're gonna see some interesting play play shift between the two matchups. So, I mean, definitely the things that we're gonna see about about her. Oh, that should be it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Good boys. Excellent DI there. Okay, so uh, Bowser is extremely fast in this game. So like if sh if Shiki messes up a punish, you expect to see the hardest punish in the world. Like just like that, he can call out those jumps so quickly with that forward air. And if you're not careful, just like any random hit could kill. If you're not gonna kill him, 129% rage. There's gonna be a lot of these. Like, Third get up attack from ledge. That's and that's the death. Ooh, wow. You gotta be so careful before you go with those upper hands. So I'm awesome. saying, what what's going on, my dude? What's going, on? What's going on? Like that Pikachu thing? That was such a hard matchup for ZSS. And she likes breaks through it pretty good. But it looks like this Koopa, which I would say is not an advisable matchup, is putting in super work. I mean, the thing is, it just, so much has changed. Because like before, it was like, okay, if I if I can land a hit with ZSS, this an automatic kill. And especially on this stage. But now that like you know, Blast Zone's a lot taller and all those other factors in there, like it's a lot better than it's ever been. And if Luna's confident that I can just get those two openings that I need to obliterate Cheeky. That's all I need. Basically, okay, so two fairs. Yeah, Fortunately, fair. he wasn't going for the landing read over there, but he could easily place like an F smash or a backer and just take it soft. Tough guy through the jab, get the grab, off stage position. Okay, not gonna get that another fair. That's Real the quick. other thing, too. He might be able to tough guy through some things, like maybe even the initial hits of up B. He might be able to tough guy that and just punish. I, I don't think so about that, but mostly I don't think the so jabs. Either. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely an uh, unexpected mechanic. Nope. Nice stuff from Shiki. That is just bread and butter zero suit right there. You just float down with them and you recover, and they also are incidentally dead. Oh god, not ready for the down air just there. Maybe forgot that in this patch that you can't go actually immediately fall. That's gonna be a stop. Nice on the moving stretcher platform, too. Okay, and here's the wild thing. First off, Koopa exclusively used aerials, okay? Aerials and grabs, and now he's digging into the rest of his kit, this flame breath, for example. He's mixing up this last stock. Yeah, the thing is, Flame Breath isn't something that you really want to use in this CSS match. Like, sure, you're going to attack on some damage, but she should basically always be- Oh boy, that's going to be the punch. She should always be quick enough to punish um, anything after the move is done. Oh, good reads coming from there. Double Tomahawk jump to the command grab. And we are pretty much at even percent. I know Bowser looks like he's down, but these two characters... Oh god, yeah, those up smashes, he's not really trying to get like a read on the... Like the way that he's playing Bowser right now, he's playing it like ZSS doesn't have a um, uh, flip, flip jump over there. That's something he's really got to be looking out for. Alright, Luna was ready for the downbeat from ledge, but she's probably not doing that. Almost getting the up smash out of that situation. Yeah. Oh, the plot. The stretcher the save! actually helping him. And that should do it. No! Still high. Oh my god, beautiful face coming. Oh, the down smash. The down air. Up smash good. That was <laughs> such a smart recovery. He knew he wanted to up PM and he said, I'm just gonna wait. Because he, he has the ability to do that. And then I don't know what happened with that down air. That wasn't. Oh. 